Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Jain and I welcome you all to my channel Tech Journey with Ankit. Based on the multiple requests that I am getting on my YouTube channel and over the top mat that we all know that in the component library file we do have the five files that is the HTML, JavaScript, CSS, uh, Sorry, I'm missing one HTML, JavaScript, CSS, XML as well as the SVG, but we don't know actually how you can use the SVG file. So in this video, basically I will try to explain what is SVG, what is the purpose of SVG and how you can actually go and use the SVG file. OK, so I hope you folks will like this video, get some new learnings from this video as well. Do let me know in the comment section again whether you want to know about this SVG file or not and whether you found this particular video helpful or not. So without further delay, we can get started. So in case you folks like to connect with me, you can definitely reach out to me on the top mat for one to one discussion. And you can also join the Telegram channel where we do discuss all the queries that you folks do encounter in your Salesforce journey. So what is actually the SVG? SVG, as the name says, it stands for the scalable vector graphics. So this is again a kind of an image format. You guys might have heard about the different image formats like the PNG, JPEG. SVG is again another type of an image format. Again, the way it is different here is it is the XML based image format. So SVG basically it will allows you to go and write down the code how your image should show up. Right here as a developer, you do have the control how to go and build that SVG file. Again, in today's tutorial, we are not building the SVG file because I personally believe that as a Salesforce developer, you don't have to know how to build the SVG file. There are lots of free SVGs and the paid SVGs which are available on the web. You can always go and utilize it as per your requirement. Again, but we have to understand the typical structure of the SVG. So this is how your SVG file will look like where SVG file always starts with the SVG icon and ends with the SVG icon. Uh, moreover, in between the tags, we specify how our image should show, show up. So if you see this example, I want my, the, my image should show up. It should have a rectangle, circle and some text. So I can go and put the multiple tags inside my SVG. And for each tag, I can go and define the different types of attribute. So based on the different tags and the attributes that you will provide, your image will come up. The good part about the SVG file here is they don't lose their pixel size. So they are very heavily used or they are very well known uh, if you are using any image in the diff, uh, for the responsive application. So for example, if you are creating one application or the component that can be accessible from the mobile devices or from the desktop, and if you don't want your image should go and scattered up because of the pixel sizes, then definitely SVG is the solution that you can go for. So now we will see the different use cases of the SVG. The first use case basically, what is actual purpose of adding the SVG file as a in your component library? We all know the purpose of the HTML, JavaScript, CSS. We discussed that multiple times, even the XML files as well. I highlighted multiple times the purpose of each and every file in my bootcamp as well. But SVG file is something that I also not talked much about in my bootcamp. So this is the why I have created this special video to talk about this. So what is the purpose of having the SVG file? The single purpose of having the SVG file in your component library here is to use as a custom icon for your component. You guys will know that whenever we are dealing with any component in our Lightning App Builder, we do have the custom icons. For example, like these are my standard components and all my standard components have these custom icons available to it, right? But in case I am building any custom component, by default, the Salesforce is providing this kind of a icon. What if I don't want to use that, this kind of an icon? What if I want to have my own icon should be available here? Like I have put in this example. If that is the requirement, then definitely you should go for the SVG. If you want to give a custom icon to your component so that when your component is available in the Lightning App Builder on the Experience Builder, it should have that custom icon, then definitely you guys should go for the SVG icon. What all the different things that you have to keep in mind whenever you are adding that SVG file? Like we do again for the CSS, we have to make sure that my SVG file should have the same name as the component name. It should not having the different name. And moreover, the extension here should be the .svg. Another key point that you have to remember here is in your component, you can only have one SVG per folder. You cannot add the multiple SVG file. So without further delay, we can get started. 
So what I will be doing here is I will be creating one lightning web component here. Let's say I'm putting the learning SVG demo component. And in that component, I'm adding one file. So this is how I'm adding the file. I'm making sure that it does have the same name. So and with the dot SVG as the extension. Now how I can go and add the SVG code as I said on the web there are multiple SVG icons are available. This is one of the site that I found where I can see the multiple icons are available. Here I have added one filter criteria so that it can only show me the free icons which are available. Let's say I want to use this particular icon or any of this icon for the time being let's say I want to use this icon for my component. So how I will do? I will navigate here. So first time in case you guys will be using this link. I will again put this link in the video description so that you can refer it from there. This particular website might ask you to sign up. So again do that. It will not cost you anything. You can download that SVG file from here like I have done and you can open that SVG file. So this is the SVG file that we do have. As you can see even though I go and increase its size, it is not losing its pixel size. Right now how I can get the SVG source for this. You can do the right click and you can take the option of view page source and you can have all the SVG source with you that you can directly use in your component. So what I am doing here is for the time being I am copying this SVG source and putting it directly in my component. I am not doing anything, not doing any customization. Only thing that I will be changing here is the width and the height as I can see it is very much high, right? If you want to change it, you can definitely do that or for the time being let's ignore it. Okay. Another thing I want to expose my component. So I'm navigating here and exposing my component as well. So here I go and specify the targets. Specify the target here as lightning app page. And here I go and deploy my component. Very simple steps, not done anything. SVG source I do have and I am simply using that SVG source. Now navigating back here, if I come here, refresh my component. You guys will see that I do have my component available with the same icon. Right without doing anything I can directly use that. Another benefit of having this SVG icon here is you can also use this SVG icons in your HTML files as well. Again you can also use this SVG icons directly. You can also use it via the static resources. If you have to use your SVG icons directly no changes will be done. You can simply use the same source code and directly put it in your HTML file. So for example, the same one I do want to put it in my HTML file. I can come here and put it here. I'm not doing anything. Only thing that I am doing here is I am, I am reducing the height and the width for the timing. Otherwise it will go very long, right? So here I am putting the changing the height and the width and without doing anything, I can directly go and use this kind of an image. So here I go and deploy this. But again, as a Salesforce practice, we generally don't go and put this kind of a details. Generally the images directly in the HTML file. We typically use the static resources. So I will also discuss how you can use the static resources for the time being. I'm adding that component here and you guys can see my icon is also coming up here. Right. As I said, we don't directly use the images. We generally prefer to use the images in the form of static resource. So what all different things that you have to keep in mind whenever you are using the SVG icon as the static resource. The very first thing you have to make sure that in your SVG file, you do have the ID attribute available. So for example, if I take you here, you guys can see that generally most of the SVG files do have this ID attribute. In case you are downloading an SVG file that does not have the ID attribute, make sure that it is already with you. Next thing here is you have to upload the SVG resource as the static resource. So we will also follow this. Okay, so we will go and upload that SVG resource as the static resource. For the demo purpose, I don't want to take the same SVG. Uh, let me go and take the another SVG. Let's take this SVG for example. Okay, and I am downloading this SVG. and opening this SVG. I want to use this SVG uh, directly in my component. So what I will do, I will navigate to my org. Okay, let me go back or let me open the. Uh, okay, let me go back. Save these changes. Go back and navigate to the setup menu to add the static resource. So this is the second step that we have to perform.
meanwhile it is loading let's try to understand the third step and the part of third step what you have to do in your lightning web component you have to import the static resource like we always do for all the static resources right one thing that is we have to do here is after importing the static resource whenever we are using it we have to make sure that we are having this id concatenated with our static resource okay this is the additional thing that we have to make sure that whenever we are using the svg file so without further delay let's go and upload the static resource here i navigate and i am uploading the static resource i am giving the name of the static resource here as a graph you can give any name again does not matter choosing the file this is the file that i have downloaded so i have choose that file and clicked on save okay so this is the static resource that i have to use i do have the salesforce documentation already open how you can use the svg resources i will again put this link in the video description so that you guys can directly use it from there so this is the one that i'll be using and navigating to my lightning web component now navigating to the javascript file importing the static resource the name of the resource that i have given here is the graph so i am using here the graph next thing as per the documentation i have to define the url and get that static resource name and concatenate it with the id again if i come here and check the id what is the id for this component so this is not the one this is the one that i will be using let's go and check the id for this the id for this here is the graph so i need to make sure that here i am specifying the graph as this is the id of my uh, svg file okay again if you follow the documentation they have make sure that whenever we have to use the svg icon along with the static resource we have to make sure that we are using this use tag okay so for the time being what i am doing here is i am using this svg tag and using that as a static resource okay again to do that let me navigate here copy this and navigating to the html file and adding this svg file one more time right again height and width you can definitely control let me go and put the height and width here as 100 or 100 for now right and this is the svg url that i want to display so here i go and deploy my code i believe i have done everything correct let me go and deploy my code and see whether we are getting the expected output or not whether my icon is getting loaded or not so navigating back here refreshing the page right you guys can see that my icon is also coming up from the static resource as well so this is how folks you can use the H, uh, svg icons in your html file we have seen how you can use the svg directly as the icons as well i hope you folks found this session helpful and got few learnings about how you can use the svgs in your component in case you do have any questions any queries feel free to reach out in the comment section telegram channel or on the top net as well thank you have a good time